Hey everyone, this is Report back with another video and today I'm going to be covering a new addition with 8.1.5 for tailoring that reintroduced a way to get 11 tailoring patterns that were removed and these patterns currently are worth over 2 million gold. Now these items can be bought for 50k and you can start crafting these items and the items that are crafted are currently worth over 300k. So if you guys like my videos, please comment, like, subscribe down below, and make sure you hang out until the end so you don't miss out on any of these great crafted transmog items. So I understand with 8.1.5, Blizzard introduced the tools of the trade, which, you know, in the eyes of most people in WoW were a big flop, really not worth the grind. In all honesty myself, I didn't grind for any of them until I came across this little bit of information about the time rifts for the uh, synchronous thread for tailoring. When you read the item, it says allows synchronous tailor to mend tears in the fabric of time across Kul Tiras and Zandalar. Now I know most of you probably watched the videos discussing the PTR on the tools of the trade and saw that the time rifts either got you attacked or they gave you this old cachet of uh, tailoring mats. This is really not worth the grind. However, um, either purposefully Blizzard left this out or they just wanted to throw in some hype. There's actually a third thing that happens with these time tears, and that is that they can spawn the time lost trader. Now this is honestly where I think Blizzard did an amazing job with this. The time lost trader sells 11 old world tailoring patterns seven of which were removed from the game around Cataclysm. The other four are expensive, low-chance drops. So you can purchase these removed patterns with embroidered deep-sea satin. So we're going to be going down the list of the patterns that we have. So uh, the Time Lost Trader sells, like I said, 11 patterns. And the first one is the Belt of the Archmage which can be bought for 150 embroidered deep sea satin. This pattern currently has a regional sell average of 500k and the item itself is the only way that you can get the color scheme and currently has a regional sell average of 110k. And then moving on to the second item, we have the cloak of warding which can be bought for 100 embroidered deep sea satin. This pattern was BOP and it was removed from Thimblejack's cache. The crafted item currently has a regional sell average of 45k and I believe that it shares color scheme with one other cloak. Um, then moving on to the third item is the fell cloth gloves. This item was removed from Thimblejack's cache as well. Uh, it can be bought for 100 embroidered deep sea satin. This item currently has a regional sell average of 100k. However, it does share a color scheme with many cheaper options for transmog. So unless you're just a completionist and you want all the patterns, um, I would not get this pattern personally. Uh, there are better options that I will cover in a minute that give you the same transmog appearance with the same color scheme. Alright, so then the fourth item that we have is the Inferno Gloves. This item was also removed from Thimblejack's Cache. The item currently has a regional sale average of 20k and is the only way for cloth wearers to get that piece of transmog. Then the fifth piece that the Time Lost Trader sells is the Moon Cloth Gloves. This item was removed from the BRD cache and currently has a regional sell average of 50k. Item can be bought for 100 embroidered deep sea satin. This item is the only way for you to get this color scheme for the transmog, so that's a great investment on that piece. Then we have the sixth item, which is Robe of Winter Night. It can be bought for 100 embroidered deep sea satin. Again, I would only recommend buying this item if you're a completionist because the color scheme is the same as the much cheaper Frostweave robes in tailoring. 
So then the seventh item that they have is the center cloth gloves. These can be bought for 75 embroidered deep sea satin. As mentioned above, these are the gloves that I would buy instead of the fell cloth gloves. Same color scheme, much cheaper materials. These have a regional sell average of only 5K. However, they do have a nice sell rate, so turnover will be much faster. And then moving on to the eighth item, we have the Cinder Cloth Vest. This item can be bought for 75 embroidered deep sea satin. This item is the only way to get this color scheme. Regional sell average is 8K. However, like the Cinder Cloth gloves, this item has a high sale rate for crafted transmog. So then the ninth pattern that the trader sells is the Icy Cloak. This item can be bought for 50 embroidered deep sea satin. This item shares a color scheme with a couple of low drop chance items. So you can kind of decide yourself whether or not you want to get this pattern. Um, regional sell average for the cloak is 5k with a nice sell rate. And then the tenth item that we have is the Azure Silk Cloak. This item can be bought for 50 embroidered deep sea satin. This item has a regional sell average of 2k and it shares a color scheme with a quest item from Gilneas. And then finally we have the 11th item and which is the robes of Arcana. This item can be bought for 75 embroidered deep sea satin and has a regional sale average of 25k. And yeah, uh, Fasi of the Seeker I'm going to have to stop right here for a second and just talk about the wonderful dance moves. Thanks for dancing with me. All right, so back to the video. Sorry, I just had to do that. Um, so this item does share a color scheme with two quest items. However, they are hoard only. So this item will still sell well for Alliance players because this will be the only way that they can get that transmog piece. These rifts to get the trader to spawn can be found in different locations. And I will link waypoints in the description below. There are 9 spots in Tyrgard Sound, 9 spots in Zuldazar, 7 spots in Drestvar, 7 in Voldun, 4 in Nazmir, and 3 in Stormsong Valley. And my final tip for you guys is that if you guys want to buy all these patterns, make sure that before you go and do the rifts, that you have 975 embroidered deep sea satin with you. Either farm the cloth yourself and make them yourself or buy these off of the AH. We are unsure what the spawn rate of the Time Lost Traveler is, so just be prepared for um, buying all of the patterns that you want before you start farming the rifts. I think this is a great reintroduction of patterns to the game, is a um, great addition for the tailoring tool of the trade, um, has really inspired me to come back and play more BFA content and grind out the tools. And I really hope that Blizzard will add on to this with reintroduction of old removed recipes from other crafting professions. So if you guys like the video, please comment, like, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.